Hi there guys, my name's Alex Mussop. I'm a course director at Deakin in psychology uh, and I'll talk to you today about our psychology programs. Um, I'll start by just talking about you know, what it means to have an interest in psychology and why would you want to pursue a career in psychology. Um, I'll talk about some of the special features of, of the way we deliver psychology units at Deakin University and um, some of the benefits um, that there are if you study with us. I'll talk about our course uh, content, our course structures, and also how to get into our courses. Um, and finally, you know, where, where these courses lead, because as you possibly already know, you can't practice as a psychologist just with an undergraduate degree in psychology. You need to pursue some postgraduate study as well. Um, and you can do that with us too. So I'll talk about all these things. So, so firstly, why study psychology? I'm obviously a bit biased, aren't I? You know, been working in the area most of my life. Um, I and, and you know, many of my colleagues, we study it because it's such an intrinsically interesting area. You know, you study the most complex things we know, and, and that is your know, mind, behavior, and people. You study people. And um, in addition to that, um, we, we often find ourselves in, in the position where we can use that knowledge to, to help people, benefit people, um, sometimes people in great need. Um, and that's, the, that's the, the, the great benefit of psychology. It's also the great challenge of psychology because a lot of the problems we deal with um, have no simple solutions. You know, uh, that is, that's what's really, I, it keeps us on our toes and every day is different. And um, I think that's uh, probably the best thing about psychology. It's, it, it's, it's a journey, it, it never ends. Um, and as a profession, as a career outcome, I mean, it's, it's a growing area and if anything, it's going to continue to grow even, even more rapidly than it has been. The need for mental health services, greater awareness in society of mental health issues. And, and again, just this greater awareness of, of the importance of your know, mind, behavior, society in everyday issues like, you know, we're currently in a pandemic. Um, that's not just uh, virology, that's very much human behavior. And as we can see, I mean, I'm in Victoria right now in lockdown. It's very much a psychological issue, not just a biological issue. Um, so th that's, why, that's why I think it's worth studying psychology. It's, a, it's at the core of so many things. It's intrinsically interesting. Why study with us? Again, I'm probably a bit biased, but I think we have a lot of really useful, beneficial features. Um, now, granted, a lot of our core content, um, the discipline of psychology, the skills and the knowledge you need in un at undergrad level, um, is going to be similar. You know, we, we, we're all accredited, all, all tertiary institutions are accredited, um, so we have similar content. It, it's, it's all the additional content that we offer, things like elective subjects, we have an internship unit, for example, they're the things that can really value add to your degree. In addition to that, we have huge flexibility at Deakin. We, we really deliver our content in the way that uh, benefits uh, students. We, we have a, a tradition of online first, that is we don't, when we do things online, and of course in a pandemic, it's all online right at the moment, um, we, we don't treat online as a secondary thing, as an add-on. We, we treat it as our core and we build upon it to do things in face-to-face -face mode when, when necessary and when relevant. Um, so whether you study with us on campus, face-to-face -face, or cloud remote learning, um, you're getting very much high quality, consistent education. Um, we, we're very much uh, cloud-based in how we record things, make recordings available to students. We provide additional study support. Uh, the, the sorts of things you can access uh, anywhere, anytime, um, which is very useful. In fact, a lot of our on-campus, yeah, face-to-face students act as though they're off-campus because they just find that the online resources are uh, more than enough for them. Um, we, we, when we do things live, we stream them live, we record them, and that goes for tutorials as well. Uh, right up to our fourth year honours program as well, we, we offer that in online off-campus mode as well. So you can study with us wherever you are, whenever you are. Um, it's, it's very beneficial, especially if you've got work commitments and family commitments. We've got really great um, value adding at the university level. I mean, universities are great for yes, social, personal growth type things, but also great opportunities for networking. So we've got a, a university um, student association, DUSA, but we also have a psychology 
student association as well and they're very active and they're very competent and they work with us we we do webinars together to inform students of updates and progress uh, and events coming up um, so definitely worth um, being in touch and again it doesn't have to just be face to face it can be online as well with the, these organizations and student associations etc we also have a trimester system simply put a, a summer trimester Every university has summer studies. Um, what distinguishes us at Deakin, particularly in psychology, is that our summer trimester is fully fledged. It's not, again, it's not some add-on, it's not token, it's not a little piece of psychology in summer. We offer all of our core subjects, for example, the entire core sequence in a full summer trimester. Same number of weeks as trimester one, trimester two, same, that's why we call them trimesters. We don't have semester one, semester two, and summer, we've got a triple trimester, sounds like you're having a baby, I know, but we have a triple trimester system. Um, that means you can fast track your three year degree. If you're doing a three year degree in psych, you can fast track that into two years, uh, no problems. Or if you fail a subject, you can repeat it in summer without having to fall behind. Um, or you can spread out your workload in whatever way makes sense to you. Huge flexibility, huge advantages. We have great student satisfaction at Deakin. Um, not only is Deakin number one in terms of student satisfaction, but we in psychology are one of the very best um, uh, schools uh, in Deakin. So we're, we like to think of ourselves as the creme de la creme when it comes to student satisfaction. We're also a very large department, and you might say, so what? Um, being very large, that is having lots of academics means lots of projects, lots of programs, lots of postgraduate options, lots of clinical and research supervisors that you can pick on later on when you want uh, uh, to do your research training or clinical training or whatever kind of training you need. Lots of staff means lots of things going on, lots of options for you. Here are our courses. And one thing, and by the way, there's more coming up too uh, on, on two slides from now. One of the things you'll realize is that you can, you can have a fully accredited psychology major embedded in all kinds of different degrees. Um, so you can do a three year bachelor of uh, psychological science. That's like behavioral science degree done in three years. You can go off and look for work and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, or you can do a bachelor of psychology honors. The second one there, it has the fourth year in it. Uh, as we'll see in a minute, to go on and become a psychologist, to register as a psychologist, you need more than just a three year degree. You need a four year degree and then supervision or a master's or a doctorate after that. So this is just the beginning of your you know, long and winding road into psychology. The degree is just the starting point. So you can do a three year degree and exit. Maybe you, you wanna come back later and do the fourth year separately. We have that as well. Um, or you might want to package that fourth year in a four year degree because you're saying, no, I want to commit to psychology. I want to do the full four years with the honours in that fourth year. That's fine too. Um, for students who are interested in doing humanities type subjects with psychology, you might want to do it through Bachelor of Arts. Um, if you want to combine psychology with a full criminology major, then you can do that as a four year degree where you do all of psychology and all of criminology. Same goes with nursing. Um, these need to be four year degrees because both courses, psychology and nursing or psychology and criminology, they're too large to just squeeze together into three years. Um, you need an extra uh, fourth year for that. Um, you can see there what the ATAR cutoffs are. Um, they vary from year to year a little bit, but the basic gist of it is um, 60 and ATAR, uh, uh, this is through VTAC of course, an ATAR of about 60 will get you into our three year degree. Um, an ATAR of 80 is what you'll probably need to get into our fourth year honours degree. And you can see what the numbers are for some of the other courses. Notice that it's different sometimes for different campuses. Um, it's supply and demand. Yeah, the psychology major in each of these courses is the same. So from a, you know, how is it different in terms of quality or quantity of psychology? No, that's not really the difference, just supply and demand. Some combinations are more appealing to more students than others. Um, and, and yes, you can move between these. Um, you need um, uh, obviously, you know, VCE to get into the, these programs. If you're gonna do it through, through VTAC uh, to get an ATAR score and English is our prerequisite. Um, you can also uh, apply direct 
entry. You can also apply through um, VTAC, but as a, as a mature age student or a student who's done vet studies, etc. And there are some details there you might want to peruse. If you've got a, a cert for, for example, you might want to peruse those details if you're a non-school leaver. Obviously, ATAR cutoffs don't apply to you at all. And definitely talk to us. Yeah, call Deacon, ask to talk to our advisors about what your chances are, what your options are, what your best pathways are. Um, what you'll find is the important thing is get in, get in, and then you can move around. We're quite flexible once you come to university. So don't think if you can't get into what you want, doesn't mean you should walk away. If you can't get into what you want, it's when you pick up the phone and ring us and we can find other ways for you to get in. So don't give up, give us a call. We combine psychology with marketing. That's a, that's a, a big area at the moment. The whole business organizational psychology area is, is growing um, and it's becoming more influential. Um, human resource management and psychology. Um, and of course, say you're doing psychology and then lots of business related studies, you know, uh, organization, uh, behavioral organizational type studies, marketing, finance, business studies. Um, you can also combine us with health studies. You can do a Bachelor of Health Sciences with a major in psychology. In fact, we've got two different majors in psychology that you might want to look at uh, if you get into the uh, Bachelor of Health Sciences. So again, you ask yourself, do I want to do, do psychology, psychology, psychology? Do our three-year or our four-year degree. Do I want to do psychology with marketing? Do I want to do psychology with arts? Do I want to do it with health, etc.? Nursing, criminology. Those secondary questions will determine which course is probably the best fit for you. But again, it's not binding and you can change your mind once you're in. The important thing is to get in to these, to some course. So what, what do we cover? Um, the, these subjects here in blue are the typical core subjects. These are common to everybody. The gray stuff, uh, they're the electives that kind of flavor your qualification, your degree. There are other things you can do in your first three years. So, so this core sequence, we introduce you, we give you the foundations of psychology as a behavioral science. Um, we talk about cognition, social, developmental, personality, mental illness and pathology. We spend time on research, research design, research methodology, measurement we spend a bit of time on. Um, they're really big issues uh, going forward in psychology. And then we leave a lot of elective space for you. Uh, and that's where you might want to add something from elsewhere, from outside psychology, or you can do more psychology subjects as electives. Um, we have electives uh, in forensic psych, child and family, organizational studies. Remembering that organizational yeah, business psychology. Um, the electives are where you kind of build your degree. You know, students are often surprised by that, but about half of your degree, maybe just a bit under half, is elective subjects. It's open, it's free, uh, and no one can make that decision for you. You have to decide, what, how do I want to utilise psychology? How do I want to combine psychology? It can be as simple as saying, if I couldn't be a psychologist, what would I want to be as a plan B? That's one way to look at it. Or if you want to be a particular kind of psychologist, then you should include particular kinds of electives. If you want to be an organizational psychologist, you should have business studies. Um, if you want to work with health and health behavior and health behavior change, well, you should have health type subjects, um, et cetera, with forensic and child and family, clinical. Um, you should combine subjects that make sense uh, given what you're doing and why you're here. These are some of the elective subjects that we offer in undergraduate psychology. So we've got things like, look at that, addiction, forensic, cross-cultural indigenous uh, psychology, adulthood. Um, interestingly, we've also got an internship unit, which we recommend that you take. You don't, you don't have to do it. I mean, if you're a mature age student and you've got work experience, don't bother doing it. Um, but if you don't have work experience, try to get some, get some volunteer work, get some uh, um, life experiences, that kind of thing in your first three years. It's valuable in terms of getting a job and it's also valuable getting into postgraduate programs. They want more than just brains. You know, they want experiences, they want wisdom and maturity. And you can only go so far studying to get those things. You need to live a little bit and get out a little bit to get those kinds of experiences. Um, and we can help you. We have an internship unit. We even have a careers development unit. Um, preparing for employment uh, is really a useful unit. Helps you map out your strengths, weaknesses, um, uh, gets you thinking about careers. Um, the focus of that unit's interesting because it's very much you. You're, you're the focus of that unit. And then you can put that into practice and then go off and do a bit of an internship. Uh, all optional, voluntary, whatever you want. 
neuro, more neuroscience stuff. Yeah, because we do have a very strong biopsychosocial integrated kind of psychology at undergrad. So you don't want to skip anything. You want to get the social stuff, get the cognitive stuff, get the biological uh, stuff. They, they all feed in together. They, they're taught sort of as separate things, of course, aren't they? They're separate units. But the intention is that they, they, they fit together. They're all pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. They all go together. And you are that puzzle. You're the product of all of this. Uh, and so we want someone who is balanced and well-informed. Okay, careers. Um, as I said before, an undergrad degree is not enough. Even with that fourth year, that just gives you provisional registration. You can register provisionally as a psychologist. That's like getting your L plates. So at the end of four years, you can drive a car, but someone, mum and dad has to sit next to you while you drive, right? So it's like having your L plates. Um, and that's really important because to get your training as a psychologist, as a professional psychologist, you have to work with clients. So you need to be, to get your training, you need to be able to work with real clients under supervision. So that's what the whole provisional thing is about. Um, to get your P plates, to get your uh, um, probationary, it's actually called probationary registration, um, you need to do some more studies and some more practice. And usually at, uh, academically, what we offer at universities, two-year masters or three-year doctorates. They're the two common pathways. At Deakin, we've got um, masters in clinical psychology, me mental health uh, um, pathology focused, right? Uh, clinical psychology at master's level. We've got clinical psychology at doctoral level. That's just more beefed up uh, program. That's a three to four-year program. Um, uh, and we also have a master's in organizational psychology. And we've also got uh, PhDs and research masters as well, if you want to do research psychology. So you do four years of study, you can do it as three years and then add the year on, or you can do it as our four year degree. Then after that, you can um, go out and work, get life experiences, work experiences, or and or go on and do a master's degree or a doctorate degree um, to, to become a, a fully registered psychologist. That's that's a long path, that's a long way away. You don't know if you want it, when you want it, why you want it yet. Study, do your degree, then you'll know more about yourself, you know more about psychology, you'll be better informed. And then at these pivotal moments, at the end of third year, at the end of fourth year, you can make these big life decisions. I wouldn't worry about it too much, don't overthink it now. Um, they're all great options. I'm, I'm not just saying that, they really are interesting and lucrative options. Um, so what can you do with um, just as a just a degree? Because that's a common question we get. And one of the reasons we have built all those elective subjects is to give you those experiences and skills and knowledge so that you don't have to become a psychologist to make use of your undergrad degree. And these are some of the um, areas where our graduates work. That link at the bottom is really useful. We've, we've built a really nice website um, that talks about the uh, career work options available to people with just, I say just, you know, just a degree in psychology. Obviously, if you have a master's and a doctorate, well, then it's much clearer, it's more focused, they're professional vocational degrees. But with just an undergrad degree, you've got lots of choices available to you. Uh, really interesting uh, working with people options. Okay, and I mentioned here, how do we help you to get work ready? We've got a transition to employment, uh, uh, an internship unit as well. Really, really useful hands-on units for you. Um, so uh, what are the next steps? This, this lists some of our uh, degree programs beyond those first three and four years. Um, we've got a graduate diploma. If you wanna, if you wanna fast track through psychology, it's a fee paying course. Uh, it lets you fast track through psych. You only do the psych units. And that's only made for people who've already got a degree. So you might have a degree in what's called a non-cognate area. So it's not psychology degree. It might be human resources. It might be biology, whatever. Um, you don't want to have to do a second degree. You don't want to study another three years just to have a degree in psychology. That's a one calendar year um, because you do it in one calendar year. That's a great thing about our summer uh, trimester, right? Um, in one calendar year, you can fast track all your psychology studies, uh, but that's a fee paying course. We have standalone honours years for people who've done a three year degree or, or indeed uh, yeah, a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Health Science. They've done their three years of study, whatever it is, and they just now need the honours year in psychology. So they're standalone, the hex, hex uh, degrees. 
um, we've got masters. Um, the five plus one, the masters professional psych, that's a complicated thing to explain. That's kind of like a transition between the fourth year and an apprenticeship model as, uh, of supervision. Um, it's a, it's a, it's, I, I don't have time to explain it at this meeting. Talk to us uh, when you're closer to that point. So don't worry too much in undergrad, but when you're getting into your fourth year, talk to us about these non-academic pathways to professional registration because they exist as well. And that unit, uh, that course, uh, Masters of Professional Psych, is a kind of a bridging course. It lets you go from university to supervision outside the university system. And we've got all those other courses. We've got organizational masters, clinical masters, a, a doctorate of, of psychology, clinical, and a, and a PhD as well. And also research masters as well. I don't think we've mentioned that. There's also research masters you can do. Again, too early, too soon. Don't worry about it too much. Um, okay, graduate diploma of psych science. As I mentioned, that's that fast track course. We mentioned this because a lot of students, they come to us, they've already done the degree and they're halfway through this group our degrees with us and then we realize then look if you've already got a degree you don't need to do another degree unless you want to now the advantage of doing a second degree it's hex funded so it's cheaper for you as the student um, the grad dip is more expensive but it's much faster because it's fee paying it's expensive but it's one calendar year if you do it full time um, so it's definitely something worth thinking about it's, it's a time versus money type thing the government doesn't fund this that's why it's full fee paying we're all accredited by APAC, the Accreditation Council of the APS, the Australian Psych Society. Um, something you should always look for whenever you do any degree at any level in psychology, if it's not APAC accredited, you won't be able to use it for practice purposes. It might be good, it might be useful, it might be interesting, um, but you won't be able to use it to you know, work as a psychologist and call yourself a psychologist. So it has to be accredited and all of our courses are. Okay, that's it, that's all I've got. Um, any questions?